Hello, Malcolm, and hello, everyone else. Welcome to episode 56 of Planet Base. Uh, I'm sure you are all absolutely gripped by the obelisk's struggle for recognition here. It's the dream of any hotel keeper to be recognized as the best. And lifetimes are spent. Lifetimes are spent. I've worked at uh, a couple of hotels. Um, in my earlier life, I have been a cook, short order cook, line cook, first cook, kind of in that order. And, uh, well, and before that, I, I mean, I cut my teeth working at a pizza place, bleg, that was terrible. Uh, most of my work experience has been cooking, which brings me to the first question of the day. How are we doing on hot meals? Pretty good. Um, I was thinking of popping in another Vitrameat maker if there's room. Um, we're just going to take a look at this lab. It looks like we've got a bit of a messy build here. Um, I think we can slip in another one if we clean up the build. So we're going to end up recycling two. And then we're going to try to fit three in as best, yeah, as best we can. And I think we will fit three in, so... Oh, what? No, no, don't tell me that bad news. Okay, that's great. We've got a ship coming in. Better get on our alert status panel here. We never know when we're going to get raided. Oh, yeah, really? Okay, we're on the alert. Percy Keys and your your ilk. Your ilk. Here's your ilk. There's Percy, there's Donald. They're ilks is what they are. Hey, let's do a little experiment. Let's track one of these guys. Ah, if only we can get him. Lorian Gray. Let's track Lorian. And uh mm, yeah, see we miss all the other combat. Wow, there's a lot of them, and we don't even know where they are. Okay, we lost a worker. We are knocking them down. Oh, folks, I'm sorry. Oh, Lorian Gray is dead. I wasn't watching. Oh, my gosh! So, we lost a worker. We've got a gunfight down with the guard here. And she's gone, thank goodness. Wow, that was awful. I'm going to shut down our alert status. Now our pad is visitors only. That suits us fine for now. We're going to think about uh, what we're bringing in. Uh, we're going to take a look at the bot fleet. Okay, we have climbed in bots, although we have been buying them. But we have climbed in bots. And we have, again, more driller bots than reasonably necessary. 23 of them, I mean. We're going to just have to keep switching production back and forth. I'm assuming they're not going to lamb us with another crew of nasties right after the first one, but you can't know. Horus Parish and Spike J. Santana, welcome, welcome. Come get what you need, because we got it in spades. Uh, we're doing okay on veg production. I'm hoping that... Uh, Okay, so those will all three go to chicken, so I should probably take one off chicken here, put it to beef, and take one off chicken and put it to pork. Oh, I wasted meat there. But since we're going to get three chicken built there, we're just going to leave that. Yep, I thought so. That's a dead one. We actually just watched a bot die, guys. We watched a bot die. Now, I noticed that we're going down to condition good a lot. We want condition excellent to be kind of the watchword around here. Now, we can't really build out any more living space, and we're pretty limited in meal space. There's no further allowance for building out this way. 
could try, but it's not gonna happen. There's nothing. It's a real shame. It would be nice to get something in somewhere. Uh, there's always the possibility of cutting into the uh, power system builds. Oh, that's true. We could just pull this power collector out. Let's just do that. Just pop that out. And uh, we'll, we'll just recycle the metal. We don't want any undue effort here. I think we're good on steel, so we'll get rid of the metal from that. And we're going to pop another dorm in. Um, right next to an oxygen generator, so that should work well. And we're going to want to put in a power collector. Uh, we're not going to fool around and wreck things. We're going to go straight to power collector and pop it in. It's a, pretty much a zero maintenance structure. So the only effort they'll have there is building it. We'll just go ahead there. And then we're going to see if we can slam a dorm in out here. Oh, I hope we can. I hope I didn't just waste the effort. No, it looks like we can. And we're going to. So that's great. Um, now, as to staffing, I like that we're making more bots. We're doing fine on meals. Uh, let's see how the struggle for prestige is going. 740, yeah, just where we left off. Now, I don't know if we need more engineers or more workers. I was just about to jump in and grab engineers so that we could uh, really just man these bot facilities really crazily. Um, I'm not so sure about that. Workers load food machines. Workers do work. Engineers produce bots that do work. Engineers produce bots that do work. Okay, so we're going to bring in a crew of engineers. And we're going to cast an eye over biology. Oh, okay, I think the night's just coming on us, so let's check our power grid. Uh, we're not full. Oh, we don't have the additional thing built yet. We would have been full. We would have been full, no problem. Okay. Well, let's take a look around here. So, some minor maintenance problems developing overnight in biology, for sure. Nothing serious this early in the night. People are just heading to dorms now, yeah, they're just starting to fill up. I'm glad we're building another dorm. Most of the work of the colony is concentrated in the main complex here, and uh, it will be advantageous to have an extra dorm out here, I think. And if we're going to keep entertaining visitors in our, in our usual style with our many bars and leisure facilities, now we have a few leisure domes. There's one. I don't know where the others are. I destroyed one recently. I hope we've got enough of them. Oh, we've got colonists. Okay, good. Let's just see. Oh, let's hope it's not, eh? No, we got one engineer. We're gonna wait for one more load of engineers. We're gonna go up to X4. check our condition. We're still hanging it good. And we have sufficient metal and bioplastic and stuff, so... Oh no, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh boy, those guys scared me. Bob Kerr, you put the jump to me. Ember Rays. I had thought about um, putting another landing pad in, actually down at the back door, having like a back door landing pad. It would make it much harder to monitor uh, landings, of course. Okay, that's two sets of engineers. We're going to bring in one set of workers. Okay, that's great. 
Yeah, I had thought of getting out here. <clears throat> and, uh... Where's those airlocks? Here they are. Maybe putting a landing pad in here. The security center's a long way away. <clears throat> well, actually, it's two doors away. No, the security center's not badly located for that. I wonder if I moved that security console, if I could get another armory, and I'm going to try it right now. Sorry about the camera there, guys. Uh, we're just going to furnish... Oh, come on. And security console... As far as possible. And an armory. No, it's not happening, so wasted our time. Uh, gee, I hope that was a security console we destroyed. I think it was. We're just gonna pray that it was. I hope we didn't just wreck our manning. I can check my own uh, videos, I guess, to see. Or you guys could maybe drop me a line in the comments and tell me if I did that or not. I think I just destroyed and replaced a security console. We've got three workers. We're gonna switch to guards. And these guys are all cool. Deanne McLean, WW Gold, and Rogelio Barbeck, they're all A-OK. -okay. So building um building a pad out here, doable. And I think we're going to do it. We're gonna have a backdoor pad. So we build another collector out here. Boy, we could have taken the base out this way, eh? Well, I mean, technically we are taking the base out that way, but we could have taken the base out that way. We take this out. And we recycle all this stuff. And hope that we can tack a pad on there. And hope that that works with the power requirements. Uh, oops. It'll have to be the small one. Yeah. So we have a backdoor facility now, guys. And it is security controlled, but we're definitely, yeah, as you note, bringing in guards. I think we'll bring in two lots of guards. We'll see what we get here. We got two guards. Oh, so hard to click. Well, I just can't because I have to watch this visitor ship. They're all good. Chase on Barrera, Dr. S.M. Doherty, and Obelisk Resort sign. Chase on Barrera, okay. Elmer Torres, welcome to the Obelisk Resort, guys. Okay, we're going to bring in one more full load of guards. For sure. Then we'll turn off colonists. Now we've got visitors landing. They're fine. One of them's miserable, eh? JDS Hill. Let's see who the unhappy one is. Eon or Ion B. Nicholson is very unhappy. Very unhappy. Oh, we should we should track him and see what he does. Actually, whoopsie doodle ding. Oh, it's a it's a lady. Ion B. Nicholson is a lady. And we are have trouble. Tra we are have trouble. We are having trouble tracking her. She's going to get a meal, so she's going to satisfy her hunger before she satisfies her uh, unhappiness. Beautiful person, there she is. Awesome, man. Well, let's hope we're going to hold together on meals. I think we are. And we'll just wait here for the visitors to leave. Oh, we've got a fresh dorm to furnish, so we're going to quickly furnish that sucker up. Oh, we've got our landing pad. Oh, dear. Um, we better go turn that off until we get our colonists. 
Now this this is this is oh okay 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 here we go we've got our colonists and we got two more guards okay well two is good Camilla Cannon and Primrose Barker okay they're definitely the cream of the guard crop and they're gonna go get weapons I bet you yeah going to get gun going to get gun okay <clears throat> Uh, well, one more load of guards. I don't know if the colony will actually tolerate it, so we better hold off. We better turn off, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we're on visitor only. We got our new power collector up, and hopefully we'll, uh, right, bunk. Hopefully we'll, um, have the ability to oh man oh dear there's gonna be ships everywhere now so we might want to bring in one more load of guards I guess and we'll just you know damn the consequences we'll do our best because we're gonna need to be very very highly defended after this so back out here to the new dorm and finish furnishing it up quickly. We're not going to try for the extra beds. It's pointless. But we need this we need this accommodation. We actually do need it. So happy to be putting it in. We've got the bioplastic to do the job. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, so we put in an extra pad, and we're going to make extra money from visitors that way, but we'll get raided through a pad we can't watch rather often. And it could affect our power outcomes. Oh boy. Oh, we charged. We charged. So, yeah, now we're at the absolute edge of our power capacity. It's actually perfect. Okay, that's great. Um, do we need biologists? We'd better look around. We are waiting on a load of guards. And that's going to take some... Uh, well, we'll have to keep our ears open, basically. So it's it's just become way more difficult to have colonists landing. Okay, we can see from here if we sit right here. Okay, and we have to go check. We don't have a choice. We've got to check on these people. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bit premature. No, they're just regular folks. So we get one more load of guards. Bots are down to 98. Here's our guards. I think we'll call that a day. Guards don't carry anything. One guard. Who is? Arthur McKay. McKay. Okay. We'll turn off colonist. And we'll get a look back on our stuff. Okay, we're still okay on meals. We've got our new vitro meat processors working away. Uh, biology is maybe a little overstretched. Yeah, it seems like they're they're working a bit hard. Well, I don't know. We're halfway through the night. It's it's doable. I guess we could take on one load of biologists just to be sure. You you know you could lose someone in an accident or whatever. I think we'll open to trading as well. We'll see who this is. We're just going to not worry about them. That's great. Skip Grunicker. And we're making money, as we should be. This choke point is often very busy. 
Oh, we've got a trader in. Oh, solar flare detected, and it'll be coming in the morning, so we'd better be aware. And something else is landing. We're taking the gun. Mm, we don't have much to trade. We have a lot of starch. Uh, I think we'll just actually buy the gun. It's actually a really good price on a gun. It's usually more. So we'll just buy that gun. And we've got a ship over here. Man, okay, now we're crazy busy. Those guys are all okay. Nicola Farley and Edgardo Velez. So this is good, this is good. I'm wondering if I should shut down the pads and get ready to get an alert on. Oh, no, that's perfect. We just got our new guards just as we shut down. That is just perfect. Oh, biologists. Oops, Jock Gross, Jock Gross, Jock Gross, and Kayas Pool. Very happy to have you guys on board. And we're going to shut down the pads and get ready to go on alert. And I think we'll switch colonist back to guard. 22 medics, it's a minimum staff, really. Yeah, that's a minimum staff. Okay, we're going to let everybody just keep on working. This is nice, actually, having this pad out back. This is kind of cool. It's a little port of its own back here now. And the security control is adequate. We have two security stations. Uh, I, uh, I can't help wondering if I destroyed something other than a security station there. Um, yeah, if someone wants to drop me a line and let me know, that'd be great. I may watch it over just to find out. I might just go, you know, rewind and fast forward till I find that out. We don't have our dishes and scopes manned as well as one might expect. But they're doing pretty well on accuracy. I guess we've got just, we've got sufficient coverage. It's not that we're staying manned on them. It's just that we've got... Oh, we're down to 76 now. No, 90%. We could use more lasers. Although, yeah, there's one defending this whole big area out here. Yeah, we could use more staffing. Okay, I think we will get ready to go on the alert then. Just head back to the pad. Hitting soon. I guess we'll just hit the alert. And that'll hopefully give any constructor bots that are way out here. You don't see them, you know, I haven't caught them out here. They have to be coming out here to maintain the few solar panels that are at a big distance here. There are some. They're not too far from these locks, though. And that should have given the driller bots lots of time to get in. Yeah, they're getting in. How are we doing on driller bots? Uh, whoop, how do we do our bot fleet again? There they are. 23, 20, 56. Hmm, 24. Okay, we're going to switch this guy over to carrier bot production. Don't let me forget I did that. And we're going to fast forward through the flare, let the station just cruise, keep an eye on our vital systems here. We've got enough water. We're going to charge just fine. And uh, yeah, we'll stay on alert through this flare, so that should be fine. How are we doing on meals? Ah, uh, you know, steady-ish, steady-ish. We are at a, you know, we're at a, we're at a, close to the limit of the base's productivity. 
in terms of stuff like that. We might even have to amp up vegetable production, given the numbers I'm seeing right now, actually. We did get a couple of extra biologists in. It's holding, and we don't want to overproduce. We are overproducing starch hugely. Um, hello, Etha. There's a wheat pad. Let's pull it out. And let's replace it with uh, a GM tomato. Okay. Maybe that'll pull the balance a little bit. But why wheat? Because you need wheat to make burgers. I've been a fool. Oh, we've probably got lots of wheat, actually. Yeah, we've got lots of wheat. So, okay, we'll leave that. Just shift the balance a trifle towards vegetable. Oh, we were going to X4 through this little uh, moment here. Meals are really up and down. Okay. We can take the alert off. And we can reopen to visitors and traders. And we'll see what lands. This little ship is still here. That's great. I'm glad we built the extra pad. I think we're full charging. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll buy his carry bots for sure. Uh, we'll buy his semiconductors. We'll buy his constructor bots. We'll buy his driller bot. Um, we will sell starch. Lots of it. We'll take. We'll bleed off that overage so that we see where we are with it, eh? And then we'll just add money and stir. So that'll take a few seconds to run up. 11, 12. Uh, not quite, eh? I, I just have terrible aim with this. Okay, there we go. We're going to trade with him for that. And that seems adequate. Um... Meals are okay. We're holding together. I'm glad we put in the extra Vitra meat maker. Drinks are okay. Incoming transmission. Wounded soldiers, yes. Oh, I hope that's them. Yep, that's them. Okay, we've got 14 of them. That's awesome. Dr. Emmy Bihar. Oh, we're so happy to have you guys here. Just really happy to welcome you here. Nikita here and... Alicio Douglas, you guys are going to get treated, and you're going to get better. And we're going to buy a gun. We don't need to buy any of this other stuff. So we're going to dump more starch, and this time some veg. Whoops, he went over one. And we get to take a little cash. Not much. Okay, we got the extra penny this time. So great. Oh no, what? Where? Uh, what? No? How many? Where? I totally missed them. Oh, they're back here, the demons. Oh, they're gonna cause so many casualties. Except we're just crawling with guards, eh? We're crawling with guards. Yeah, we've got lots of guards. I think once a guard has fought, they're, uh, they stop, though. Like, once they're wounded, they stop fighting. Somebody got hurt. We didn't lose any colonists. Amazing. We didn't lose anyone. We will take off the alert. I hope we have enough medical staff. Boy, we've got some people who are just absolutely... Uh, oh, she's going to get a gun. She she doesn't care if the alert's off. She's going to get a gun. Sophia Thobia, I salute you. You've got the spirit. 
You get that gun. So, yeah, there we go. That's the reason for the extra guards right there. We are holding out on meals. I think we'll take in even one more load of guards. Carol May, you're welcome. Colonists on. Guards 100%. And we're going to take another load of guards on. We're just going to stick with the working staff we've got. We're going to have to live with that staffing level. Uh, let's see how our condition is. We're at good. Still a few people armed. 115 guards. Yeah, we're going for more. We, we're just barely managing to keep the colony going, but that's what's needed for the visitors. I mean, they have the pleasure of the bars and the leisure rooms and all that stuff. So as long as we can keep producing bots, which are really steady, I must say. Oh no, we lost a guard. Angelo Terry, your name is on the uh, obelisk. I'm so sorry. We must not have had enough medics. Oh, whoa, trading ship. Oh, this will be interesting trading to these guys, eh? Well, we want the gun and we'll just buy it for cash. Mm, this is a bit trickier to manage now that we've got uh, things at both sides. I can always shut that one down, you know? Oh, there is a vantage point by which I can see everything here, so I'll just do that and I'll just keep an eye till we get our load of guards. So sorry about Angelo Terry not making it. Makes me wonder if we should have more medics in as well. Okay, we've got a trader. We'll take their carry bot, we'll take their constructor bot. Uh, we'll take both driller bots since we're not going to build them for now, and we'll take the semiconductors. Wow, that's worth a lot. We're going to dump them full of vegetables. That'll keep this pad tied up for a while. That'll keep my staff tied up for a while, I must say. That does not give us a big boost on where we're going here, but... Well, we could be selling some steel, actually. Yeah, why don't we sell some steel? It's worth a great deal more. Yeah, that gives us a much nicer boost on where we're going here. Whoops, went too far. Okay, we're going to do that trade. That'll be interesting trading out this set of airlocks, I think. What are engineers doing over here, goodness? Well, that'll keep that airlock busy, or that port busy while we wait for our guards to come in. We've got visitors, let's slow down, okay. Oh look, one of them doesn't have any conditions. Pace Khan! Pace, what are you doing? Well, I guess he was just, he's with the other guys, you know? He's just, he's with those guys. He's just with those guys. There's no harm in him. We're totally going to watch him. I wonder if you can zoom in on him. No, you can't. Well, he's walking. Pace is walking. Suitable occupation given his name. We haven't gained any reputation. I, I gave up on Pace, by the way. We're up to excellent again. I'm very happy about that. I wonder how the trading's going out here. Oh, it's mostly bots doing the work, so that's actually dandy. Oh, they're getting her right done, too. Oh, we've got two airlocks back there serving one pad, so it's actually... It's efficient in that way. It's just far from the main storage areas. Biology's doing fine. We really would like our next load of colonists to come in. Uh, we should be checking our grid. Uh, we charged. Just about, anyway. Okay, these guys are normal. I don't know if we completely charged. Oh, we're way well into the night. Well, we'll just... We'll have to keep a little eye on that, eh? Okay, we're gonna get back here and watch this pad and the others. Okay, we've got a trader landing. 
And he's got, we'll take a carry bot, we'll take a constructor bot, we'll take a semiconductor. Uh, we don't need any of his other stuff. We'll take his hot meals big time because we've overloaded our staff to the point where there aren't any hot meals in the place. So. Yeah, that is something to consider. That is definitely something to consider. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're putting back some of our stuff. Okay. We're doing the trade. It looks to me like we'd better shut off trading. Um, I think we've overloaded our workforce, basically. And guards don't carry stuff. And where this guy is going? Spares to solar panel. Okay, good. Yeah, guards don't carry stuff, and we've just been bringing in guards. So we're going to have to watch that. We're just going to have to lay off the trading for now. Ah, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got to slow down and get a look at these guys. One guard. Okay, we're taking more on. We did lose one, so it's no problem taking more on. Gotta just slow down here. Everyone seems okay. Most visitors are good visitors, but there's sure a lot of... Uh, oh, incoming transmission quickly. Spatial accident victims come on down. I hope that's them and not some other group of visitors. Uh, looks like that's the spatial accident victims. Awesome! We're very happy to have you guys. I hope our medical staff are ready to handle the load. Be interesting to find out, actually. Uh, we better keep an eye on every airlock and everything. We'll see if we lose any of those guys. And if we do lose them, we'll bring in medics. I mean, I know that's a callous calculation. But, uh, that's sort of the way it is. We'll, we'll bring in medics if we need them. Okay, we really have to watch here. Sorry guys, we're not getting much base review in, but we're just watching for these colonists. And watching for raiders. That's not raiders, thank goodness. Titan Glover and his friend, uh, come on. Keen Sosa going to the other airlock. Okay, cool. Well, let's hope our guards come in soon. We seem to be holding our own in meals and stuff while well, we've got more visitors. That's great, because they bring money. We've got the tired, the hungry, the space weary. And uh, they are bringing us money. We'll just track him for a little while, going to get meal. So he's taking care of his food first, even though he's more tired and unhappy than he is hungry. Speaking of hungry, yeah, I've got my dinner sitting in the fridge waiting to cook. I've got a couple of chicken legs. I'm going to roast them in the oven. And uh, I'm going to have some egg noodles with that. And some vegetables. I did pick up a cucumber and some tomato. Thinking to make a little, you know, plate cucumber and tomato. But then I thought, you know, why don't I just have some frozen veg? It'll be easier and I'll just do that. So it's chicken, frozen veg, and egg noodle. Hey, did we already treat those people? Are they like treated already? Well, that was good efficient work on the medical staff's uh, part, I must say. We don't know where Georgia J is, and we don't know what's going on on our pads here. We got prestige from that. That's awesome, you know. Totally safe game. We want our guards. We want our guards. We want this place absolutely crawling with armed men, you know. And women. Armed women. And men. And anyone else that wants to be armed, too. We welcome them all as long as they're appropriately trained and ready to sign the contract, which does include 
getting your name on the obelisk for free in the event of an unforeseen event of some kind. Uh, let's see, where are we? 116 guards, one of them going to get a gun right now. I'm gonna take on one more load of guards. Just one more load of guards. I know it's a bit crazy, we're really just arming up. We've got the guns and uh, we've got production stable. Oh gosh sakes, these guys could be total raiders. No they're not. No, they're nice. They're totally nice. So we will take on one more load of guards, and we're just gonna watch like a hawk over the uh, systems here. We better check our power charging. Obviously we're not running into anything critical, but I don't want to see the base with an imbalance in its power drain. And by uh, adding that pad we added quite a bit of power drain. Love that everyone just has different names in this game, you know? Well, we're going to keep watching and we're going to hope we charge up over the course of the day. It gets down low, doesn't it? Before the power starts coming on. Okay, we should see a colonist ship come in any second now. Okay, we'll take the speed down to X1. This will probably be our last load of colonists for a little while. Bot fleet's gone up. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you awful. You awful jerks. The cons are at it again. You know, there are a lot of cons in these raiding fleets. I'm telling you that. Just visitors. So here's these wretches. They could probably tell we were vulnerable because we were calling out for guards. People have had a chance to get armed up here, though, and there is a an armory there that's now empty of guns so that's pretty excellent hopefully we've got some guns stored here oh we'll take the fugitives here they come interesting these intruders penetrated oh yeah and then all attacked at once we lost a guard we lost two colonists We've lost four colonists, six, seven colonists, so oh, man. Oh, this is the most intense firefight ever. Wow, eight colonists. That was brutal. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to be doing some recovery here. I think we might have lost some medical staff in that little episode. I'm just gonna check. Uh, nothing... Yeah, I don't know if our numbers are fully updated here. I think we lost a worker. 22 medics, I think that's what we had last time we checked, so... We will definitely take on another load of guards. That was neat how those ones waited until they were, uh... Oh, we've got some folks who might die, eh? Yeah, we might lose some people. No, he's getting healed, good. Let's hope our medics are on the job enough to save everyone here, eh? They are. They're really on the job. The medics are doing great. Our medics are working hard here. So we didn't lose anyone else. We lost eight colonists, though. 
Now, I don't know, man. Like, eight colonists. Oh, hang on. Down to X1 speed. We've got to check charging right now. We fully charged. Glad to see it. Eight colonists. I'm not sure who we lost, you know? We're going to continue with what we got. What we have, rather. And we'll take on that load of guards we were asking for. We're going to leave it alone at that. Not sort of question fate here. Um, you know. It's all working out okay. That was a very nasty attack. Eight people. Eight people. I wonder if they were all guards? No, they weren't, because... Well, yeah. I'm not as familiar with the numbers as I ought to be, I guess. I should have been paying a little more close attention. All the fugitives paid. Oh, no, two more? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's get back down to X1 and just check here. Ah, it was two guards that died. What a mess. I think we need biologists, too. Well, we're a long ways into the night. Biology maintenance is... It's okay, it's patchy. They're on it. They're on it. Okay, we want our guards to come in. I don't know, eight colonists, you know? Like, what kind of a mess is that? Here's some more people. We want our guards. And I think we'll be satisfied just to get the guards, you know? wonder how low the power system got overnight. Wow, it really gets shredded, man. But it is fully charging. Wow, yeah, we've just... Kind of just got enough. We're getting lots of visitors. We're not getting our guards. But that's okay, we're here for visitors. This is a hotel. This is a space hotel, folks. Well, look at all those empty collectors, man. That's just crazy. Okay, those guys are fine. They're going in. They all chose the same airlock. Go figure. For a second, I thought a horde of armed people were going to pour out of that thing, but it's just Jagar Floyd and his crew. Uh, here we go. We got our guards. Let's hope they gave us a nice handful. Oh, uh, they gave us two. So that brings us back to, what, 115? Orion H. Webb. I like his name. Cindy Marshall. I like her name. That gives us back to gets us back to 115. Well, we're gonna shut off colonists right now. Just stay open to visitors, I think. Let's just check that prestige. We're at excellent and we're up to 747. So guys, you know, episode after episode, we're not making a lot of prestige here. We really need to be doing a better job. Um, we've got our radios up, you know, we're, we're trying to get victims in. I suppose if we left the pads open to nothing but victims, that might help. I don't really know. I don't really know. Well, today we succeeded in getting seven prestige, in getting a lot of people killed. Um, I think we're running at a decent balance. Yeah, I think we're doing fine. We're not over or under on any production. We're doing fine that way. And yeah, the guests are rolling in. The money's rolling in. We've been able to buy lots of weapons and stuff. 
Maybe one more little load of guards, hey? Just, just one more little load of guards. Let's just have one more little load of guards. And we gotta watch for those transmissions. In a previous episode, I totally missed a transmission. I was watching over the file later and noticed, you know, that I completely ignored an incoming transmission for a very long period of time. It was pretty sad. Pretty sad. We've just barely got enough Vitra meat. Just tour around a little here. The bar there isn't busy. We lost one of our recreational domes, but recreational domes aren't heavily used space. No mistake. Yeah, we can get even closer here, eh? Lots of people resting. Glad we built the new dorm out this way. And we built the other new dorm out this way. Where is it? It's here. It's not quite as busy. Oh, incoming transmission. It's trying to travel us. Yes. Quickly. Come on down. Can they land somewhere? Where did they land? Did they land back here? Oh, I'm lost. Yeah, I think they did. I think that's them. I think that's the stranded travelers right there. Uh, whoa, what have we got? I heard a ship land. Okay, there's just regular people getting out. It goes so fast on X4 speed, I have to say. I, uh... <coughs> oh, there's our, there's our last bit of guards here. I think we won't take any more after this. Great three, nice. Brianna Lindstrom, Mackay Franco, and Dr. X.A. Bowen. New squad. New squad, glad to have them. So we're back on visitor only. Tried to track that ship a little. Thought that was pretty cool. We're back on visitors only. Uh, starch production's back under control. Looks like food's holding well. We could use more drinks, but we're not dying. We're doing okay on the drink. We gotta make sure there's drink available for the visitors. They need it. They need to come here and have some space beer. We make it with mushrooms and tomatoes. It's absolutely delicious, I'm telling you. Well, guys, I'm going to go make my chicken. So, welcome to the Obelisk Resort, and farewell from the Obelisk Resort for now. We are going to keep the Obelisk in operation for a while, until we get our 1,000 prestige, basically. And that is proving quite the challenge, but we're maintaining excellent status for our colonists, and we're staying pretty balanced. We've got 451 people aboard, 109 bots. We'll just double check our bot fleet there. 22 drillers. So, it could be that we'll have to switch driller bot production on again soon, and we'll just keep an eye on that. Don't be raiders. Thanks for not being raiders. And thank you guys for not being raiders. It's been a pleasure. I hope you guys are having fun with this series too. And we will see you all next time for episode 57, I guess it is. So, bye for now.